Welcome back to Loyalty, I'm Robert Loyal and I want to show you guys another cool tutorial. Now today what I want to do is I want to take a shirt and turn it into a realistic mock-up. And this is something that you guys can do with any shirt that you have. It follows the same guidelines for the realistic pocket t-shirt that I did for Bella Canvas some time ago. But with this one, I want to show you guys how to actually get the shadows and the highlights on the actual graphic. So it looks realistic as if it's on there already. So there's a lot to be said today. There's a lot to be learned today. I hope you guys can do it. And if you do, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. And just for the ACA community, which is my Patreon account, if you guys are subscribed there, you actually get this mock-up for free. So don't forget to pick that up. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and make magic. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, and basically all we want to do is we want to get this shirt off the background. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command J, then I want to turn off the original layer. Now, you guys, I've definitely shown you how to use the pen tool to get things out the background. So that's basically what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to select the pen tool, I'm going to zoom in, and we're just going to go ahead and just plot our points and just go from there. Okay, so now that we got this much, all we have to do is hit control or you can just right click and just click here and make a selection. Now, I usually leave this at 0.5 because I want it to have just a little bit of that feathering or whatnot. You guys can do what you want. Usually some people put it at one so you have a whole bunch of feathering or some people just leave it at zero. I like 0.5 because you get that kind of realness with it. And just hit okay. Now that we got the dancing ants, all we have to do is go down to the bottom and click on a layer mask. And that took out everything in the background. So now that we have this, and this looks pretty good, what I want to do is hit Command J and just make another layer. Now hit Command U, and that brings up the saturation. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down the saturation on this so it's pretty much like a white grayscale kind of like deal here. We're going to hit OK. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is hit Command L, and we just want to go ahead and kind of make some adjustments real quick. So the first adjustment that I want to do is I want to make sure that this is a pretty much white shirt. So we're just gonna go ahead and bring this into the middle like this. And then with the dark points, I just wanna go ahead and bring those dark points in as well, somewhere about like right here. Now this is looking pretty good, but what I wanna do now is just go into my layer effects panel and just go ahead and drop down that layer to a multiply. And we get something a little bit like this. Now, it's a whole lot more animated because you know the effects is on this, but if I was to drop something in here, let's just say on a new layer, I dropped in a new graphic. Let's just say we dropped in this graphic from like a few t-shirt Tuesdays ago and we just scaled this down. Now on this, we can see that there's an actual pattern that goes on top of this because if we took this away, the actual design just looks like it's on top of the shirt, but it's not actually working with it. So if we bring back the actual shadows here, we get a little bit more of that dimension that we want or whatnot. Now that looks pretty cool, but we want to keep like the original shirt really consistent because if I turn this off, you can see that, you know, this is not as dark. Like the shadows here aren't dark, anything like that. But when we turn that back on, we definitely have dark shadows. We have very bright brights and stuff like that. That is not what we wanted, right? Because we want that shirt to be consistent. So what we want to do is we want to keep this design looking like this, but we don't want the shirt to be like that. So the way that we would do this is we'll hit control or right click on that layer style, which is supposed to be our shadows. And then we'll create a clipping mask. That clipping mask is just gonna go on top of the design. And with that being said, now this design has the shadows and the wrinkles and stuff like that, that the shirt actually has. And that's what we wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and command L on this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bring up some of these shadows real quick, just so we can get that going. Something a little bit about maybe like right here. And with that being said, I can take this design and I can move it all over the shirt. And as you can see, it's going to move with the shadows. So that's one way of doing it, right? So let's just say we don't want to use this design. We want to make our own design. We want to put that design on top of this shirt. What we're going to do is we're going to delete out this design. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And with this new layer, I'm just going to go ahead and clip that shadow layer on top of this. Now inside of this new layer, I'm just going to go ahead and dump whatever color in. It could be yellow, it can be red, it can be white, it could be anything. But I want to go ahead and turn this into a smart object. And then I'll hit Command J just to make a duplicate of it. And I'll bring that duplicate to the top where I'll then turn down the fill 
and then turn down the opacity. You guys have definitely seen me make mockups before. But with this one, the original one, I'm just gonna go ahead and double click inside of this and then hit okay. And then we can just turn this off or whatnot. So I could turn that off and then I can put in like any design that I want to. And just for you guys to know, if you guys are making designs that I make, I want you guys to make sure that you put your borders where they're supposed to be. So we know that we're supposed to have a 14 by 17. We're not always going to get that. So this right here will signify that this is center. All right. And we'll just hit command S and close this down. So we get something a little bit like this. And it is with the t-shirt, but it's over the t-shirt. And we're not trying to do that. So we're going to scale this back some until we get it to where we want it to be. So just to make sure that we stay inside the borders of this shirt, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hold command and click on any one of these two layer masks. All right, to bring up those dancing ants. And then inside of the design, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the layer mask. And what that did was it just made sure that we have the outline of this shirt inside. So everything inside of the shirt is going to work out. Anything that goes outside of the shirt is not going to be seen. But that's not true for right now because this design is actually linked to the mask. So we need to unlink that. And now we can actually move this design around. And as you can see, it's going to move with the actual shirt. It's not going to go outside of the shirt which is awesome this gives you full control to start doing like full body mock-ups and stuff like that so if you want to you know put designs over here on the sleeves and stuff like that you can do that we just want to go ahead and rename this stuff so we'll call this one design and we'll make layer 2 design drop design here we'll name this shadows because that's what it is and we'll name this original now the significance of me bringing this drop design here above everything is once I double click inside of it, it gives me this control again. So I can turn off this and I can hit maybe this layer too. Maybe I just want this to be like a yellow pattern. I can just go ahead and hit that and hit command S and come back to the shirt. And this is what we got. Now this doesn't really give us kind of like a real look like this does look like a good pattern on here, but the shirt doesn't look realistic to me because it just doesn't look realistic. So what I like to do is I like to go into my adjustments and I like to bring up a color lookup. And then I like to clip that color lookup to the actual shirt design. So we got that clip there. And what we want to do is we want to drop down the LUT and kind of bring in something like maybe a horror blue. We can do anything like the Fuji Rilla 500D Kodak, whatever. We can click on that. It gives you like a realistic color palette. So. And the final thing that I want to do to this is give you guys the ability to change the color of the shirt because that's what a mock-up is. You don't want to just have one color mock-up. So what I like to do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my adjustment panel and then I want to bring up a color saturation. So a hue saturation. And then with that hue saturation, I'm just going to go ahead and clip that to the original shirt. Now here's where it gets funny. What we can do is we can hit colorize and that colors the shirt whatever we want it to be. I like to bring up the saturation to like maybe 35 and then from here I can just change the color. So if I want it to be a blue shirt, it can be a blue shirt. If I want it to be a little bit darker, I can just make it darker. If I want it just to be a purple shirt, I can bring it to purple. The one thing that we want to do and make sure that we're doing all the time is as you can see this tag here just got lost. So I'm going to go ahead and click the B tool to bring up my brush and I'm going to zoom in and then from here I'm just going to brush out the tag. Now you guys, if you guys want like black, it's real simple to do. You just take the lightness and you bring that all the way down. And it gives you black. If you want white, you guys, you just turn off the hue saturation. Real simple to do. This is why I always start my mock-ups with white. And with that final tweak, you guys, we've completed this. So like I said, it's available on my Patreon account for people to download. If you're part of my Patreon, you can go ahead and get this for free. I put up vector packs. I put up mockups. I put up a lot of things for you guys to download. So if you want to check out those resources, they're still there. And starting today, I'm putting up my actual Christmas pack. So this would be everything that I did from the beginning of this year up till today, which includes the actual mock-up. So I hope you guys like that one. If you do, go ahead, like, and subscribe. I do this all the time. But with that being said, we got to get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome. <laughs>